Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Lincoln Electric Power MIG 211i. Uh, just came out, uh, brand new to the market. Uh, we just got ours in. We unboxed it here, got it all set up. So in this video today, what we're going to go over is what it comes with, uh, some of the unique features that this unit has, and the simplicity of this unit, um, and f as far as what it can do and what it can't do. Um, but let's just hop right into it. Uh, so this is this 211 came with a new package right or a new boxing it's got these nice handles multiple lift points 41 pounds so it's pretty light uh, that didn't include the spool of wire in there but uh, it, it's got it's got a lot of nice features it's actually pretty robust looking uh, we got a gas port it's 110 220 so what it comes with you got an adapter cord right we got our 230 110 uh, adapter cord we got our ground cable our mig gun our gas hose and our uh, flow meter regulator here. So on the ground clamp, what I want to point out is it, actually the ground clamp wasn't connected to the cable, but just a simple uh, crescent wrench and just run that through there so it's a strain relief on that cable. Pretty simple, took 30 seconds to put on. Came with a bag of extra consumables. So inside there we got 030 drive rolls and 035 drive rolls and 045 drive roll as well. I think that's in the machine. So you can get, you got 025, 030, 035 and 045 drive rolls in this unit. So this has the all new robust drive feeding system, which we'll go over here in a second. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out though, is the uh, Magnum Pro Series 100L MIG gun that it comes with. Actually very nice, feels comfortable in the hand, got a nice trigger, um, Magnum Pro consumables. Uh, so linked below, we're gonna have a bundle for this unit that comes with extra consumables. Um, and just to show you all the what they are, but it's actually pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. Um, so let's flip this machine on here. And what we'll do, now I got my MIG gun hooked up, I got trigger wire, I got my power block into the positive terminal, and I got my ground hooked to the negative terminal. So when you first fire it up, it has uh, these two switches, two digital displays, pretty nice. Uh, readouts on very clear to see so you got voltage and wire feed speed um so we got it in manual mode but this also has a material thing so if you want to go you just tell it what gas you're gonna run so mig c25 which would be a 75 25 mix uh mig c100 which is 100 percent carbon dioxide you got your flux cord stainless steel and then a spool gun option we're going to link that down below too but you can hook a spool gun to this unit and then you give it your wire diameter but obviously in manual mode we don't have to give it our wire diameter, but with 025, 030, 035, and 045. Um, so the 045 is only for the flux cord uh, the mode, but let me toggle through. So now we can see, got a nice soft click on the button, but what you do is you just toggle through. You can't go back, so you just gotta go forward. We're on MIG C25 and we tell it what size wire and then what material thickness we're gonna weld. So we got 24 gauge, all the way up to 3 8 plate. So this is capable of the 3 8 plate. Its duty cycle is uh, roughly 30% at 22 and a half volts. Um, so it's, it's got a lower duty cycle. Uh, and I won't say that's a bad thing at all because comparably to the other com com competition machines in the 211 series and that 200 amp series, it's pretty comparable to that. Thing. So this is gonna be targeted towards home hobby, light fab, um, you're just a guy in your garage wanting to weld. It's actually a very nice machine in price point to the competitors. Uh, a lot, much priced less than the competition by a lot. Um, and you get a lot of a machine for the price that this thing's coming out. We'll have that all linked below too. Um, but back on just, we'll open up the side door. Got a nice little latching system on the side door. We got our parameter chart inside. so. You can tell what wire diameter, what gas we're running, and it gives you kind of a good start, if you will. Another thing I want to show, it can hold, we got a two pound spool that it came with, uh, but it'll hold an 11 pound spool as well. And then their new drive roll system, really nice. So if, I, I like it because it's all enclosed burn nesting is less likely to happen and if you've ever had a burn nest it's really a pain in the butt but this is more of a wire guide so what it's doing it's guide it's i'll show you here there's a line cut in it so on this side it's flat but on the 
you can see the wire will slide right through that, that groove and it, it lines right up with your drive rolls. It's pretty simple and it's robust. I mean, it's heavy. Um, a lot of good success with this, this style right here. Um, so if you remember my video on the 215, this is on the 215, but I also mentioned on the industrial equipment, so the industrial feeders, this has been the standard for quite some time because it's so, it's foolproof. I mean, it works and it doesn't, it doesn't mess up. But just to change that drive roll, you just toggle that and then that'll slide right off there. Pretty simple. Um, just a, and then it just goes on one way, but there is an arrow direction to show you that you get that goofed up there. So, uh, and then that's your uh, MIG gun tightener right there for the uh, lock the MIG gun into the power block. Very simple, everything slid right in there. No, nothing was hard, no question to ask. Um, there's a three year standard warranty on this unit. And uh, I mean, it's, it's actually very nice. I, I like that it's very simple to use and you can just tell it what you want to do. Choose the metal thickness and then it'll adjust accordingly wire feed speed and voltage. So very simple to use. Um, I love the digital readout. So other the competition machines, some of them do not have digital readout. Um, and that's kind of a big thing with people. They want to they see it, they want to feel it, you know, instead of just a number on a dial on a plate, we got an actual uh, readout on, on the display. Very nice. So if you got any questions or comments or anything regarding this, please link them below. We'll do our best to answer them. And there again, what a, what a heck of a machine at a price point that probably can't be beat. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.